Well, can Super Stew do it? I can tell you he's hung over and he uh, is reported by many to be on the verge of retirement. Could he wind everything up with a victory here or could it just be the start of a rejuvenation of a career that's the next all the top honours in the sport since 1969, bar one. So Stu Smith goes off the inside of the second grid alongside Richard Ainsworth. You see the two leading cars, Friedhelm Velters has the pole position with uh, Leon Cox on the outside. You can see Andy Stott there as well, 160. He's back on the sixth grid. Richard Ainsworth just going below our cameras there, and there is uh, Zortes. And he's stuck just on the right. His partner uh, across the grid is Pierre Bombs. There's car number four, Pierre Bombs. So the Flockton Flyer a bit far down the field to make an impact. Off grid six, there's Stuart Smith off the second grid. Friedhelm Velt is in front of him. And that is going to be a mighty obstacle to overcome. Rian Rutchens just behind on grid three. So those three front grids contain some of the top performers, certainly here on the long tracks. If you've seen the Dutch in England and you say, well, OK, they, they look OK, but they don't achieve much, it's a lot different when you're over here in Holland. Friedhelm Velters, car number eight on the inside, German-born, Holland-based, and the outside man, car number 17, Leon Cox. Veltus has had a couple of heats uh, successes in Britain. Can he translate into his second long track championship? He won in, the eight, in 1980. So the vital start and the 1984 World Long Track Championship is underway. And Smith already making his move. Diving through on the inside of Leon Cox. Going out to the fence. And Veltus has got the break there, surely. Looked like Stu was held up there a little on the turn, taking out uh, the car of Leon Cox. Ainsworth is through into third place, so it's Veltus, there goes Stu Smith, using the bumper. Oh, and Veltus straight up into the fence and over. Well, real controversy, the red flags are out. The Dutch are going crazy here. Jacques Kleis and other officials, the red flags are straight out.